Woo, guys, this is a huge update. I think this is the biggest update that Adobe has done, I'm gonna say in the last three years. So Adobe Premiere is now taking advantage of the NVIDIA encoder, also known as NVIC, to accelerate video rendering performance whenever you're exporting H.264 and H.265 video files. Oh, and by the way, I've partnered up with NVIDIA to bring you this video, but I'm also going to show you how you guys can enable this new feature if you're using a GeForce GTX or RTX GPU. So what is NVEC actually doing? So let me break this down from start to finish. So whenever you import your footage, the CPU is decoding those video files in a way where it can interpret them and you can start video editing. And then from there, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, what's happening is that it's now using the Mercury playback engine, which is great because it accelerates video performance on the timeline. It's awesome. The problem is whenever you're exporting, the GPU is no longer being utilized. Therefore, it's creating a bottleneck with the CPU. But with this new update, Adobe is leveraging NVEC to give us GPU accelerated exports, which helps remove that bottleneck that we have with the CPU. All right guys, enough with this. Let's go ahead and jump right into some export tests so you guys can see how amazing this is. Okay, so for this first test, there's no color grading, no effects or text graphics, just a simple 10 minute, 30 second 4K export. So without NVEC enabled, the export finished in about seven minutes and 22 seconds. Now, when we enabled NVEC, the result results were actually quite shocking, which finished in two minutes and 25 seconds. That is over 200% improvement. Wow. Wow. But I wanted to do something more real world. So I took a 10 minute, 12 second clip that I had done a couple of weeks ago that had mixed footage, had color grading, a couple of effects, and I just wanted to see what the difference was in a more real world test. Without NVEC enabled, it finished in nine minutes and 50 seconds. And to Adobe's credit, that's actually not bad. It's pretty much a one to one ratio. It's getting much faster. However, with this new update, it finished in over 60% faster at six minutes and five seconds which is pretty amazing. Now, it doesn't stop there. We wanted to even push it further. And we took an existing project that had Canon C500 6K RAW footage. It also had Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K RAW on a three to one compression ratio with USR 4K, different mixed frame rates. We did heavy color grading with multiple layers, sound design, you, you mean the whole enchilada over 13 minutes. So let's go ahead and see how it did. Without NVEC, it finished in 25 minutes and 26 seconds. Now with this latest update, it finished in 21 minutes and one second. That means that even in this worst case scenario, we're still seeing over 20% improvement in exports, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can enable this if you are running a GeForce GTX or RTX GPU. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, in order to enable NVIC, you wanna make sure that you are running the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, because I am filming this prior to the update going live, I had to do it on the beta version. The second thing you wanna make sure is that you are running a GeForce GTX or RTX GPU. Now, let's go ahead and jump into File, and then go to Project Settings, General. Wanna make sure that the renderer is set to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA. After you do that, go to Edit, Preferences, and then you go to Media. And then from here, you're gonna notice something different. Make sure that this is selected. Enable Hardware Accelerated Encoding and Decoding. You may need to restart your computer or Adobe Premiere in order to make sure that that takes into full effect. Now, just for reference, I am going to jump into uh, Premiere 2020 prior to the update so that you can see the difference it shows enable hardware accelerated decoding. So it doesn't have encoding. So you'll notice that's a different. And then finally, when you're ready to export your clip, I'm gonna show you the settings you need to use. So make sure you click on your timeline, go to file, export, media. And then this is very important. You wanna make sure that you are using the H.264 format. And then for a preset, you wanna do the match source high bit rate. And then just kind of scroll down here a little bit. And then you'll notice, or you should notice that hardware encoding is now an option. Otherwise, it would only show software encoding. So if you see hardware encoding, you've done the right thing. And then the last two steps is literally just changing the profile to high and then the level to 5.1, which should already be selected. 
So I really feel that this new update is something that we've all been waiting for. And this partnership between Adobe and Nvidia just means that we can expect future performance updates in the future, which is really exciting. Now, if you guys wanna test this out, it is available to download right now on Adobe's website. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. My name is Armando, thanks again for watching. You guys will catch me in the next one, adios.